Y'all, it's cold, baby. It is so cold. It is so cold. But I'm going to make it do what it do. I ain't going to be out here long. I'm going to come home and rest in my own home and enjoy the rest of this weekend. Probably won't leave the house again until sometime Sunday. And yeah, I really need to get gas, but I don't feel like stopping. Ooh. I mean, I can get to where I'm going, but I know I need gas. I don't feel like going, y'all. But anywho, let me tell y'all what I plan on doing um, today. Well, first of all, I'm going to go get me some coffee. I want me a caramel macchiato. I'm going to go get me one. And uh, after that, I'm going to head to uh, MacArthur Mall. Because I got a dress from New York and Company. And I ordered it way too big. Way too big. I don't know what I was thinking. Better too big than too small, right? So, but I ordered it on the website, but I did go on back online and see if they had the dress at a local boutique here, which they do. So that's where I'm headed to now to go exchange the dress. And they had it in my size, by the way, the size that I need. Because I bought two dresses, the similar styles and stuff, uh, same brand made both dresses. And I don't know why I got that one. Baby, I got I don't know if it was a mistake or I just thought the cut was different. But I ordered it in a double XL. Then I ordered another dress similar to it in an XL. And um, yeah, the double XL is way too big. And the XL fits just like I want it. It ain't too snug. It's snug in the right places. How about that? <laughs> but let me go get this damn coffee, y'all. I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I hope it warms up, y'all. I really do. Gosh, listen. So I guess it's official, huh? What's today's date? Well, it ain't officially winter. It'll be officially winter 21st of December, right? Damn if I know. I don't know. Somebody let me know. What's the first day of winter? So anywho, but it's cold. This ain't winter weather. It's damn sure fall weather. Because we falling right on in the winter, ain't we? But, yeah, this ain't... It's cold. Because we in, we not used to this. Because it's been kind of like tropical weather for a long while. So, this is really like... To me, in this area, this is really feeling... We feeling the cold right now. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all... I'm really enjoying, you know, talking to my beautifuls and posting videos and stuff. So, I think I'm going to do this vlog in a part one, part two. So, yeah, when I drop the first one, whatever week I drop this first, the first part in, I'll make sure I drop the second part <laughs> in um, the same week. So, it won't be too far apart, you know. But, yeah, I'm enjoying this. And uh, I'm recording from my phone. And I know y'all like, girl, is that 7-Eleven cup you drinking? Yes, it's 7-Eleven. I forgot my, I forgot to get my cup cup, you know, because the refill is just like a dollar and some change. But, um, listen, I've been searching high and low. I ain't been searching. I've tried a lot of caramel macchiato, caught, you know, hot, hot caramel macchiato, because, you know, we got hot and we got, and we got ice. And, um, honestly, the top two. Is McDonald's and 7-Eleven but for some reason the last the last several times see I, I try I try to give benefits of, benefits of the doubt the last few times I've been to McDonald's I don't know what the dealio is it don't they don't taste right no more you know don't taste bad but it ain't like it it ain't like it's supposed to be so you know how it is when you got different people in there making different stuff but shish you figure everybody follow the same recipe so i ain't messing with the mcdonald's caramel macchiato no more because it just no but maybe if i get it and i put the caramel macchiato creamer in there honey life baby life life so this is the 7-eleven caramel macchiato 
And what I do is I add three other caramel macchiato creamers in it. Perfection. But even if I didn't put the creamer in there, it's still perfection. But you know, just do a little extra, extra something, 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 something. So anyway, y'all. Let me talk about these shades from Shop by JJ. The cool thing about these shades from Shop by JJ is you can wear them when they ain't even, when the sun ain't even beaming on you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not dark tinted shades. They're like a light tint. Because y'all can still see my eyes real good. It's like a light tint. So it's just something stylish and fashionable. You know, you can wear these throughout the winter. And ain't nobody going to look at you crazy because you got shades on. Because they're not dark tinted shades. So, yeah. I just thought I'd throw that out there. A little shameless plug for Shop IJJ JJ again. <laughs> Yep. Y'all see my pinky ring? I got this years ago from, um, honestly, I think it was from New York and Company, the place where I'm about to go to now, but not the same location. And y'all know how you have stuff for years, and you know, every year we do like a, a spring cleaning. You know, you clean out your closet and accessories and all that stuff. Every time I clean out accessories, I always. <laughs> be thinking I'm gonna throw this out I'll be telling my like girl you don't wear this cuz I don't I don't I wear it I swear I can count on my hand how many times I wear this ring a year maybe three times if that so I'll be tempted every year to go ahead and give it away but no I keep I, I hold on to it cuz I like blue it's not like turquoise ish you know but yeah. now nah, it's more blue turquoise more, more blue effect but if I, I like it you know but girl Y'all, I stepped outside without this scarf on my neck first. And I was like, oh shit, that's really chilly outside. So I went on and grabbed my scarf. This is a handmade scarf. I've had this for, oh, shoot, almost five years. Because I've been natural five years. But I got this the summer I went natural. Is that right? No, I, I have had this for five years. Cause I, you know, I went natural in August, and then I got this in like October. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had this for five years, and I bought this from. Oh man, this this is so cool. I bought this from a beautiful queen that I met in Target when I first big chop, and I was just looking for products and stuff. And she just so happened to be in the aisle with the natural products in Target, and I had, at, you know, I. I saw she had natural hair and I just started speaking to her and asking her you know because I just big job blah, blah. and she was the one that put me on to the shade moisture and she also said try kinky kinky something I can't remember but I never tried kinky whatever because even she said the price the price point is high um so I never got it because of the, the price point but luckily that shade moisture um uh souffle and um whatever what is it the souffle and something else y'all know what i'm talking about and that combo together we already know about that combo but i don't use it no more anyway i don't know right now i'm still boycotting the shade moisture who knows maybe i'll unboycott them but i doubt it because I've, I've found other products that i'm very happy with so whatever so anyhow but back to the young lady I met. So, we exchanged phone numbers and uh, Facebook. I still we, we still friends on Facebook. We follow each other on Instagram. And then when I found out she made uh, scarves and hats. I even got a matching hat to go with this thing. I, uh, and she made other stuff too. Anyway, but I, she was like one of the, she was my first small business spotlight that I did on my Facebook page. I think this was before, yeah, this was before I actually got on YouTube and started making videos, if I am mistaken. You know, I started, I started out on Facebook, y'all. And I, you know, did a small, small business spotlight. Of course, y'all already know about it because y'all see the, the videos I've done in the past. And, um, yeah, she was my first one. And the crazy part about it is, y'all. Well, I'm side, I'm doing sidebar to sidebar now, y'all. 
I need to go back to my original when I first decided to be I'm just Jackie you know I started out on Facebook migrated to YouTube migrated to Instagram y'all know Instagram is my bae before anything else that is facts Instagram is bae but um I really want to get back into my small business spotlight features and and the best place to do it, I feel like it's on Facebook. But golly, people, I'm going to be honest with you. Facebook is becoming a relic. It's a relic. And it's becoming irrelevant. But I still have my Facebook. I'm not going to get rid of it. But the content that I want to share on my Facebook, I feel like I want it to be totally different. Not totally different. I wanted to be different from the content that I share on Instagram. Because before, whatever I shared on Instagram, I was sharing on Facebook. Which was fine. Because, you know, some people don't do Instagram. But do Facebook. Some people don't do Facebook. But do Instagram. So, I felt like wherever you was following me, you was going to get whatever I posted. But, I still want to... Um, I still want to just... I'm not really posting regular content on my Facebook page like I was. So, you know, you want to be consistent and keep people drawn into your page. Or whatever social media platform you um you rock with more. But I don't know, it's like a it's like a hit or miss. But here's the thing. People are used to me posting damn near it every day on on Instagram. They're used to it, so they they know I'm just Jackie gonna post at least one one time a day, and maybe not you maybe not maybe nothing while maybe nothing on the weekend or whatever, you know. So, but I, what I do notice is for the more popular people that are on Instagram, some of them don't post. They don't post every day. They might post once a week not even once a week some people may might post once every other week or whatever but when they post baby their followers are flocking like flies to like the post it's like they getting hits 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 like but whatever like i said i ain't nobody else but jackie so i can't worry about how other people operate what other people do i'm just focusing on what i'm just jackie does and for right now that that's what that's what i do you know what I'm saying? If I'm if I'm oversaturating myself on Instagram, which me personally I don't think I am, I'll just be oversaturated then. Cause I just feel like the more consistent you are, uh, I don't know, the stronger your following would be. And I don't mean following by numbers. I mean like those people who really rock with you they're always gonna you know see your post and click on it and like it because trust me there's people i can name right now every time i post something they like it and if they watch this video thank you appreciate y'all appreciate appreciate my insta beauty goals okay appreciate y'all so anyway whole sidebars to the sidebars i don't even know what i'm talking about hunger I want to say, uh, it's, she changed her she changed her IG handle. But anyway, I will either put it up in the video somewhere, or I'm just gonna put it in the description box. But I don't know. I don't think she's doing these products anymore. But you know, I just wanted to showcase a queen who's positive and energy is amazing, and she helped a stranger out more than she know. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to you, boo. So, it's raining now. We're supposed to get snow, y'all. But, um, whatever. So, oh, I forgot the, um, oh, I'm not recording on my, with my camera. I forgot my battery was dead. Shoot. So, I was going to hold my camera while I was walking, but it ain't going to work. And I don't think, I don't think it's going to work holding the phone either, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm just not that girl. Not that girl. Y'all. Tell me something. Um, here's the thing. Now, if you're 
if you're serious about your craft, if you're serious about your craft, then what I'm about to say to you shouldn't be surprising. Because all YouTubers should do this. Okay. So, in YouTube, you have what you call analytics. Analytics tells you... It gives you several breakdowns. For instance, it gives you an average of how many minutes people actually watch your video. Even though you have a lot of followers or well, subscribers that actually watch your whole video, they still break it down into how many minutes overall, an average of out of all your videos. How people, how many, how many minutes people are watching your videos, right? That's cool. It also lets you know what are your most popular videos. Right? Like, it tells you, these are your top 10. Am I going the right way? Uh, no. Oh. Oh, oh. Man, you on your phone. Anyway. um, Yeah, it tells you, like, your top 10, whatever, whatever videos and all that stuff. Most watched videos and everything, everything. Another way you can use... Okay, anyway, in a for all of my YouTubers, y'all know about your analytics, I hope. So anyway, I, I hope you guys are going to check your analytics and all that stuff, whatever, whatever. All right. And, um, but I say this the same because analytics are, are a good thing. Because I will say this. I know what my most popular videos are. My most popular videos are my wig videos. They, they, are, they are the videos that got the most views. If it ain't a wig video, it's something to do with my natural hair those are the videos that get the most views so what does that tell me i that tells me i need to do more wig videos but here's the thing i do wig videos in the winter time baby because i'm just jackie don't really do wigs in the summertime it's too hot for one and i love to let my natural hair out in the summertime so winter time is when I do my wig videos and stuff. But I'm not going to sit there and do a wig video. I don't. Well, I like I just do more wig videos in the summertime. Whenever I drop them, I drop them. Mm -mm -mm. But I don't do wig videos in the summertime. That way, I can focus on other things in the summertime to do. I think I do more makeup videos in the summertime. Um, and everything. Weird. I don't know. That's weird. I think I did do more. Whatever, y'all. Sidebar to the sidebar. So, back to these damn analytics, y'all. Um, I wanted to go the other way. But, this bitch. Bus driver. Like, bus driver. I hate people. I really do. Well, I really don't. But I, I just hate when people do stupid shit. Does that make sense? The bus driver just gonna cut. I'm right beside you. Look at your blind spot, baby. Anyway, I ain't got no road rage, but these people get on my damn nerves. Okay. So I'm at the mall, y'all. Okay. And um, uh, let me get my damn ticket. The reason why I don't come to MacArthur Mall a lot because you gotta pay for parking. I don't feel like we you, sh you should pay for parking. I hate that. But I remember um I remember I was here and baby, I was only here for five minutes. And well maybe ten. Here's the thing. I won't even here for a half hour. Baby. They were still trying to charge me for like a because they don't they're not supposed to charge you they're supposed to charge you after a certain amount of time, but I was, shit. Anyway, long story short, I had to. I, I was like, "Girl, I won't even here for thirty minutes." But she was nice. I didn't. I didn't have to end up paying. But it was just the fact that it was just the fact that y'all was trying to charge me, and you already knew by the, the time stamp on my um parking card that I won't even here for thirty damn minutes, and you still trying to charge a sister. Y'all better stop that stuff. Y'all, y'all better stop trying to get our money. Y'all already getting taxes and shit. Y'all already got the money to build a garage for my tax money. You know, don't be trying to steal no more money from me. 
Now, if I was here for an hour, okay, I wouldn't have said nothing. But, baby, I wasn't even in here 30 minutes. I was probably in there 20 minutes tops. Because I, I knew what I was going to get. Ran right into the store. Ran right the hell out. Boom. But, anywho. Let me go take care of my business. Let me see if I can go get this dress, y'all. And I will be back. Or maybe, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see how this vlog goes. Maybe I'll record. All right. So, y'all, I'm still. I'm at the mall. This is going by real quick. I exchanged that dress like it won't nothing. Fast, quick, in a hurry. Now I'm going to go to Sephora. I'm going to try to get something. So, give me a second. All right, y'all, so I'm at Sephora, but I ain't having no luck. They don't have the heat. They don't have no more heat palettes in stock, so I'm going to have to order it. I'm going to go ahead and order it from here. That way, I still ain't got to pay no shipping. But look, she blank, she empty. No more heat. And she said they just got their stock this morning, and they already out of stock. So, if y'all watch this Lori's Life, she had used this NARS face powder. They don't have it here, girl. Look, all they got is this one. This little translucent shit. That's not for us. That's not for us color, girl. So, Lori, I know you told the truth, but I wanted to try to be lazy and get it from here. She said you got to order it online, and she ain't lied. Then I'm trying. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to get this. They got this, y'all. I do love me some makeup forever. And they got this face powder. This loose. It's called Super Matte Loose Powder. What caught my attention was the Super Matte. I might want to try it. But the crazy part is, look at the shade range, y'all. Okay, look. They go from. They go from this light color. I'm getting the light for y'all. Then they got this. It's kind of yellowish. Then they go here which is like a nude then they only got one shade for us colored girls I put it on my hand looks like it would blend good oh, I think I just want to try it ultra fine setting powder mattifies buildable coverage powder foundation see this is what I had before and I ran out of it. I'm trying to think, do I want to get it? I will get it again. But I got enough powder foundations. But this loose one, this was a satin powder. God, y'all know I want to try this so bad. I don't know. I'll make a decision. I'm going to walk around some more. Y'all, they got Becca highlights in here for $17. $17, y'all. Becca Highlights. It is the... Not the large ones. It's the Light Chaser Highlighters. This is the one I'm thinking about getting. It's the Bellamy. Because oh, I don't have no peach highlight. It's really pretty. It's the second one. It's the one in the middle on the bottom row. I don't know. Decision, decisions. Let me walk around some more. Hey y'all, I am back. Baby. <sighs> My battery died. So bear with me. I'm gonna prop y'all up on something. My battery died when I was at the mall. I was trying to talk to Lori. <sighs> I was texting uh Patrina. Y'all, y'all, listen. Let me get this camera right, y'all. Listen. Is it here? Okay, we good. We here. Listen, this is what I did. This is what you guys missed, right? So y'all know I went to the mall because I had a dress that was too big, right? If I didn't mention it, I mentioned it in now. So had no problems. That exchange was less than 10 minutes. Awesome sauce. So I'm happy about that. Then I said I'm gonna go to Sephora because I wanted to use my coupon because it runs out on the 12th. If you spend fifty dollars, you say I get to save fifteen. So I already had the item in mind that I wanted. It was sold out. I'm not going to tell y'all what the item is because I did order it. Sephora ordered it for me. Didn't have to pay no shipping. Still got my fifteen dollars off, and it's going to come directly to my my home. Okay. So focus, camera, focus. So. 
yeah so when i do my haul i will mention that's the item <laughs> and yes there's gonna be a haul y'all okay i have been on a no makeup buy for 11 months yay and you know my haul my no makeup haul i think i said no makeup haul i've been on a no makeup buy for 11 months the only thing y'all already know what my what, what the criteria of my no no makeup buy was the only thing i could buy was re-ups like if i ran out of primers then either i had a choice to buy the primer that i was already used to or i could buy a whole new primer but i couldn't buy nothing unless i was completely out okay so when i say i shop my stash for 11 months baby i shop my stash for 11 months and it was great it was great i ain't gonna lie it was kind of hard at first but once i once I was okay with it, I was okay with it. I was living through my sisters and YouTube, you know, living through them vicariously and watching them do their hauls and spend and buy. And I stuck with it. I only bought stuff I ran out of, re up, et cetera, et cetera. So, anyway, Black Friday came. No buy was over. And I didn't go crazy for, the, for um, Black Friday, but you guys will see the haul. I'm just waiting for some more stuff to come in the mail. I guess with the, you know, with the the high spending and online buying and all that stuff, it's just taking a little longer to process some orders. Because Lord knows the orders I had to process for Shop IJJ took longer than they normally did because of, you know, holiday process. So, anywho, with all that being said, listen, after, uh, after Sephora... I went to Ulta because I went to Sephora to get two items for real, for real. But listen, one of the items is exclusive at Ulta. You'll see it in the haul. So I get to Ulta. Baby, why didn't nobody tell me? I knew Ulta carried MAC lipsticks, like little, little, little things from MAC. But when I got into my Ulta, they had like a Mac setup. Like, you know how you go to Mac and, and you they got the little area where you sit down and, you know, they, they, they do your face and all that stuff. They had all that in Mac. They didn't have no little teeny display. They had several displays. They had blushes. They had eyeshadows, eyeliners, lipsticks. Mineralized powder foundations, uh, MSFs. Oh, I said that. Uh, highlighters, everything. Okay, didn't nobody tell me. Didn't nobody tell me. I went buck wild. I went buck wild in, in Ulta. Okay, but at the end of the day, I got everything I needed and wanted, you know, and I got it all at one time because I had a 20% off. Coupon from Ulta it includes y'all know Ulta Real finicky, so you gotta pay attention to your coupons. Some coupons say you can use it on name brands, some coupons say excluding name brands. But Lord knows this coupon that I got included name brands, so baby. All I'm gonna say is wait till y'all see that haul. So I left there, went to the grocery store, got some groceries. Look. I don't know if y'all can see it. Little bags on the counter. So right now I'm about to put these groceries up. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cook dinner early. Because when I sit down, I'm down. I'm going to be in my room watching the boob tube. Uh, oh, I already have spaghetti. Oh, I just got an extra box there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook some spaghetti. So dinner will be ready when my daughter comes home from school. She eat whenever she want to eat. And I'm good to go. And that's it, y'all. That is it for this vlog. You know, thanks for hanging out with me. Listen, I'm super excited because I bought a whole lot of makeup today. Because when you are, when you have been on a no makeup buy for almost a year, oh god, hallelujah. So anywho, but I didn't go crazy because every pretty much everything I bought, I know I needed and I'm gonna use. So it ain't like I'm just gonna have stuff sitting up uh, everywhere and whatnot.
But yeah, so let me go ahead and put these uh, groceries up. Let me go ahead and get this dinner popping. And I will see y'all at the hall, y'all. Yeah, did it, did it. That's when you're excited when you bought makeup because you've been on a no makeup buy for a damn year. My, call it a year, y'all. Call it a year because it's decent. Nah. Yeah, I'm going to call it a year because I, I started it December 30th because I had to. The thing was, the last day of December, that was it. I couldn't buy nothing else unless it was part of the stipulation for the no buy. So, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. Alright, I'm done. Alright, y'all. Catch y'all in the next video. Deuces.